Uh, I was facing the Blue Jays in um, August, I think August 3rd or so. Was facing Donaldson, threw him a heater, and I felt like a, um, my whole form just like sucked up. Now an apparent injury to McCullers is surfacing here. This is not good. Well, he's out of this game. There you go. I came into spring training in 2016. And I felt I was 22, felt just uh, like ready to conquer the world, felt like I was really going to make a big leap that year. It's a fantastic day when we can watch a major league debut for a first place club. He's the ninth different pitcher to start a game for Houston this year that ties the Dodgers for tops in the major. He gets a punch out. How about that? Number one. 2015, I got called up uh, about a month into the big league season, and I pitched every single time I was asked to pitch. I was never hurt, never had any problems. Now this energized crowd, we'll see if McCullers can get Davis. And he struck him out! What a night for Lance McCullers Jr. An 11 strikeout complete game. But um, it's not really considered a full year because I got called up late into the season. Made the jump from double A all the way to the big leagues in May and really didn't miss a beat. Well, whatever you want to call it, moxie, guts, whatever. So far, the look in McCullers face and body is he's in control and on attack. And that kind of stuff right there will play. That's going to be all for the rookie right-hander. McCullers done catching the Astros into the seventh with a one-run lead. Fast forward to 2017, kind of popped up a couple of times here and there. But ultimately, um, you know, I got through the year and felt really good. You know, obviously we, we won it all and um, I played a, a pretty big role in that postseason and felt confident leaving that year that my, my elbow problems were behind me. So in 2018, I was, I was rolling right through, finally felt like I was finding, finding my groove and taking that next step. Things were just coming together. So you're thinking two more months of pitching like this and you're going to you know, end up in a spot where you wanted to be, where I thought I was going. I go out there in August in 2018 against the Dodgers um, through three or four innings of, of great baseball and I, I throw a, a 3-1 heater to Matt Kemp and uh, I felt the same sensation that I felt back in 2016 except this time it was uh, way worse. Lance McCullers who's done after just four innings and 60 pitches. Well we see him fidgeting with his forearm elbow area. And. Um, my wife was actually there in the stands and uh, I was walking in and she kind of looked at me and I just like kind of pointed at my elbow because I knew at that point that uh, it was probably uh, going to be time for me to have surgery. The procedure that we decided on when Tommy injured his arm when the ligament was ruptured uh, was to make some attempt to replace it with another uh, structure. And uh, what we did was to replace a ligament with a tendon. A ligament, of course, uh, is something that holds bone to bone and keeps his elbow from coming apart as he brings it through in a pitching motion. A tendon uh, is made out of the same material uh, with a little different chemistry and is used uh, to uh, connect muscle to bone as a motor power. When I had surgery, uh, you know, it was a it was a scary time. I remember I remember the those first couple of days of rehab, man. It was like uh, the rehab was literally just like try to touch, like your fingers like this. Like this was like the rehab. It's like try to touch, and like get that feeling back in your fingers because I was numb, probably from about end of my scar to about the, my wrist for like probably like uh, four months. It's like my whole arm would just would just be numb. Some days, man, were tough. Like I dealt with like a little bit of like depression, feeling uh, not a part of the team, all things that are natural when you're going through this process. But I tell guys all the time that have Tommy, this is like the biggest thing that I would tell guys. Like every single day, it's got to be it's got to be a new day. So that day yesterday, good or bad, it's as it's as old as it's as old as time, as old as dirt. So every time you walk into that locker room, to walk into that rehab facility. It's like right now in the present, like I'm gonna get 100% better. Um, you know, I've, I've been reading a lot of uh, Wabi Sabi books. It's a Japanese uh, aesthetic and kind of way of living and, and, and the main thing behind it 
is like to find beauty and, and imperfections and to find the the, the gratitude and uh, the ugliest things of life. And for me, 2019 started off about as ugly as you can get. Young kid, young man, I should say, rehabbing really for his future career, for his future earnings, with the weight of uh, a wife and a baby on the way to support. And you know that ultimately became my ultimate motivation. And there's not a lot of things to compare to holding your child for the first time or for me, my daughter, for the first time. And so seeing the way my year started and the way my year ended really just speaks to God's plan and what he had in store for me this year. I was able to be um, a husband. I was able to be uh, supportive for my wife through the process. But ultimately, um, she was the one that kind of had to shoulder the most burden. <laughs> she had a rehabbing husband who wasn't always in the, in the, in the best of spirits, but she always pulled me up and uh, she uh, you know, carried our, our girl around for, for nine months. So without her, um, I don't know if I'd ever made it back as strong um, or at all from this rehab. And, and you know, obviously without her, I would never have our, have our daughter, which has um, been by far uh, the most amazing thing that's ever happened to me. You're not just rehabbing your ligament, you know, you're rehabbing your mind, you're rehabbing your entire body. Every single day attacking rehab didn't matter if I was in a good mood, bad mood. Just keeping everything in the present and just saying, can't worry about what has happened, can't worry about what's going to come. I can only change who I am. Each moment in the present really like set me up to come out of this thing. No matter how this goes, I'll always be able to look back and always be able to go into everything with 100% confidence, knowing that like this version of myself is, is the best version that, that I could give. There's Dusty Baker, always with a toothpick and ready to roll there. Familiar look. The strikeout of Goldschmidt. He's at his pitch limit, gets the handshake. Here comes Dusty with his toothpick and a smile on his face, and he says that's enough see his teammates congratulating him on making it back. Well done. Nice round of applause for McCullers. And we begin with breaking news. The number of coronavirus cases in the Houston area continues to climb. We will take drastic steps. Major League Baseball to delay the 2020 opening day. <laughs> It doesn't. It none, none, of, none of it matters to me. Um, I don't think 60 games is. It's going to be weird. It's. It's a short. You can, you know, it, baseball is a marathon. It's not a sprint. It's one of the beauties about it. Um, but we're, we're we're in a sprint this year. We're we're running the 100 meter dash. Everything you know from the off season. You know, all all, all the all the all the talk. You know, all, all the social media stuff. It's just. It's gotten to the point where we're just we're just ready to play ball. I'm really just done talking. I'm really just done with the long talk and the and the back and forth with um, people who who I know uh, deep down are just are just scared. Worst. Who's high? Who not? Tell me who robbed? Who sell out in the store? You tell me who flopped? Who popped a new drop? Who jewels got rocks? Who else making rap albums doing numbers like it's pop? Same old pimp, Drake. You know he nothing changed with these funny styles. There he goes, Lance McCullers Jr. It's been the breaking ball that has been almost impossible to get a piece of for the Rangers hitters. I'm with my whole set, tennis matches at the crib. I swear I could be Serena when she playing with a left arm. Well, I will get a head start with two outs and a 3 2 pitch swing and a miss. Lance strikes out three in the fourth. Because there are a lot of doubts about us, and a lot of doubts about um, what we have accomplished, and um, you know if we deserve to accomplish them. So uh, I think a lot of people are just ready to um, move on and, and, and just really show what we're about. Even the important times, I should let you know ahead. I'm coming back on my worst behavior. 
batter will be Bellinger. Remember? Two strikes on the rookie Bellinger. And now three. Motherfucker. Remember? Hold up. Hold my phone. They used to never want to hear us. Swing and a Remember? miss. Judge goes down on the curveball. McCullers. Motherfucker. Remember? Worst behavior.